Hi, this is Napoleon from DJI. Today, we are going to introduce the brand new DJI Pilot 2 app. We have four parts of this tutorial. Let's get inside it. When you launch the DJI Pilot 2 app, you will see this homepage. Before flying, we'd like to walk you through the homepage from top left to right. Then go to the bottom right corner, which is like an L shape. The person icon is for account and settings information. You can sign in and out of your account and also check flight records, drill zone unlocking, offline map, help documentation, and language setting. The shield icon is for data and privacy. You can change to different network security modes based on requirements or manually adjust them. Security code can protect your media files. Please remember that even DJI cannot recover the media file for you if you lose the code. You can delete some cache files in the cache management if you are running out of space. Be cautious when you clear DJI device lock. The after sales team may require a lock file if the aircraft is not functioning as expected. Next, we are going to talk about the drill zone map. You can check if you are in an altitude zone or restricted zone on this map. Click the information icon on the right to learn more. For unlocking requests, please visit our FlySafe portal or drop us an email at flysafe at dji.com. You can see a FlyHub2 icon in the middle. You can join or exit different FlyHub2 projects from here. When you are part of the project, you can change your personal call sign and aircraft call sign to avoid confusion. If you need the media files to be uploaded automatically, make sure to turn the switches on. On the upper right, you can see the UAV health management system. Depending on the aircraft status, it will show a normal, caution or warning signal. For caution and warning, you should check out the problem and fix it before flying. You can also check maintenance program and DJI Care Enterprise on the left. The aircraft icon area will show you aircraft, payload, and controller status. If you want to manage your controller status, click on the controller. And you can switch to controller B or enter the linking process. Fly route. The fly route function is important for enterprise users who want to run automated operations. If the aircraft is performing a flight mission, you can see the mission name and progress rate here. For more detail, we have a fly route tutorial video. Album. The album function can let you see the photos and videos from the aircraft payload. Inside the album, you can sort with project, aircraft, time, or type. Use the select button on the upper right side to select multiple files. You cannot undo the delete action. Please be careful. The download button is for downloading the files from the aircraft to the controller. Later, you can check out the media file in gallery app without turning on the aircraft. If you are part of a FlyHub2 project, you can manually upload files to the cloud using the upload icon. You can find product tutorials, flight tips, case studies, and user manuals in Academy. We suggest you reading the user manual before your first flight.